Hi, welcome to our vlog and today we are going to talk about Elmer Borlongan, why he is a well-known prominent artist living as of today. First, let me give off a simple trivia. The father of Philippine painting is Damian Domingo and he is a well-known painter of miniature portrait of Manila society figure. So, why do we need to appreciate art? In today's world, art can be seen everywhere. Art brings life to a gloomy day. It is our voice of freedom whenever we feel like we are not validated in our own country and in our own world. It is a reason why we need to appreciate art, because art can be messy. It does not to need to be perfect. Art brings us to a world that we really fit in. We can show our innermost desire, express feelings, we keep within ourselves, relieves the stress, brings out creativity, help us build confidence within ourselves, showcase the artist problems in the current world, and it is like an eye-opener to the story untold. Appreciating art is also making the artist appreciate his, her own artwork. It is a beautiful disaster made with passion and dedication. So at this point, we shouldn't always look for the beautiful masterpiece because we should appreciate art in every little thing because at the end, beauty is just a bonus point. What really matters the most is the story behind it on how it wanted us to feel when looking at it. One prominent contemporary artist that we have today is Elmer Burlongan. Born on the 7th of January 1967 at the Ocampo Memorial Medical Center located in Santa Mesa, Manila. At a very young age, his father taught him to draw things in different perspective. He spent his childhood in inner cities of urban Manila and as a result, his delicate sensibilities were attuned to the everyday hardship of the Filipino working and middle class. Elmer Borlongan studied at the University of the Philippines College of Fine Arts, major in painting. In his second year at college, Borlongan been chosen as a participant to the ASEAN Youth Painting Workshop and Exhibition held at the National Art Gallery in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Subsequently, the Filipino delegate organized a Hukami exhibition at the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Borlongan got his bachelor degree in fine art, major in painting, in 1987. And because of a sudden massacre, Borlongan immediately found himself using art to engage the Filipino social awareness. Elmer Berlangan is one of the Filipino artists who brought our culture be alive. According to Henry Season 2020, stated that Filipino art is becoming acknowledged globally. Elmer Berlangan was representing our country who has exhibited his own artworks in Singapore and Japan. Although his artwork is related to our Philippine culture, using his own perspectives and exposing his own style as to inject the urban of life Filipino today. Culture is an important aspect of my fellow Filipino. I believe that Elmer Borlaon dedicated from his passion to our culture. Each of his artworks looks spontaneously. Despite of his subject matter, Borlongan drew inspiration from his observations of his fellow countrymen and his environment. Today, he enumerated his idea of his hard works, he or others that contributed about the Filipino culture. Their art works is one of the best registries of disappearance of our Filipino culture. About his artworks contributed, it was remarkable and distributed to his fellow countrymen. With, without or it didn't exist about him, the culture of our country like us, we didn't not respect each other and honor where we are came from. It was still forgotten as if Filipino youth we should understand as we adapt and let it be as our daily guide living of our country. Hi there! So, the creative expression that made an impact on succeeding generations of artists by Elmer Berlongan is known as figurative expressionism, which portrayed various human figures, but it is often contorted of shape or size, and there is a manipulation of the color or hue. 
Elmer Berlon used figurative expressionism in a peculiar way that attracts more artists and art enthusiasts. Most of his subjects or themes include the day-to-day -day life of every Filipino, particularly the homeless and street children. It also depicts the simplicity of human lives and the resiliency of human beings during difficult times or hardships. One of the noticeable characteristics of his artworks is his fondness for figurative arts and idiosyncratic art, which involves the anomalous body parts of his subjects. Elmer Bourlon undergo a teach training with Fernando Sena and instruct him to master his crafts and it was revealed that he was inspired by the artworks of Don Francisco which leads in mimicking his styles that later on he realizes farcical. Did you know that? The 200 works of Elmer Borlongan from 1979 to 2015 was created by retelling stories of everyday life based on what he sees in his surroundings. The murals, paintings, and drawings that fill the walls of this exhibition reflect on Borlongan's practice and continued commitment to his art, vision, and powerful visual narratives. Aside from that, notable in his works are his steadfast characters, the street vendors, sidewalk beggars, assiduous disabled men, and the scenes that portray the local traditions and cultural practices that engage society today. So here's the five most prominent paintings of Elmer Burlongan and how this body of works displayed excellence in enriching artistic expression and style. Number one. Rehimen. This artwork gave Emong his first major acknowledgement and won the second prize at the 1988 Metrobank Annual Painting Competition. Rehimen is the signature socialist period of Emong. The brushwork bold, the image socially aware, depicting a seat of power that is inspired by the Marlboro seal guarded by a flock of dogs. Underneath them, a thin figure which the artist says represents the marginalized Filipinos. Number 2. Tampuhan Four years later, this artwork of Emong won the second prize honor at Metrobank again. It is one of his early attempts at conjuring the fisheye perspective. Number 3. Pamilyang Menthol While many looks at this piece as a sensual image, owing to the languid lines that depict four human figures, they currently enjoying what looks like post coital puffs. Emo says Pamilya Menthol is just that, a family enjoying a smoke. It is one of four paintings he did for the exhibition that marked his being recognized in the 1994 CCP 13 Artist Award. Number 4. Kumut This image of a street kid using his own shirt as a blanket was sparked by a sighting of a street kid in the Cubao overpass. In the bed show, Kumat appears with a pencil sketch study, which is usually the start of the artist's process. From there, he will make color studies before finally paint it on canvas. Kumat skipped the color studies. Number 5. The Gardeners This artwork won an honorable mention in a YMCA art contest in 1979. The style and even the image was inspired by an unfinished work named Kamoto Diggers by the great muralist Botong Francisco, which is one of Emma's favorite painters. Like this Berlongan piece, the Francisco painting also had two male figures planting with their heads bowed. Wow, his works are amazing. And what makes it more amazing is the fact that he created his artworks based on first-hand experience and his environment. I hope you guys learned a lot about Elmer Borlongan and remember that we should appreciate art because in appreciating art, it's like we are appreciating the artists as well. So that's it for today and see you again on our next vlog.